Fellow Grenadians, we have come to the point of one of the most festive periods in the year. But this is quite likely to be one of the most somber Christmases we have ever experienced. The many challenges we face during 2020 may make it difficult to truly enjoy the season. But we must give thanks nonetheless. We must be thankful to God for his enduring mercies and continued protection of our country and our people. We must be thankful for the relative successes Grenada has enjoyed in the overall management of COVID-19 pandemic. We must be thankful for life, particularly when this deadly disease has caused the death of more than a million people worldwide. We must be thankful also for the sacrifices made by our frontline workers who worked tirelessly to manage the pandemic here in Grenada. It is said in Colossians 2 verse 7, and I quote, Rooted and built up in him, strengthened in faith as you were taught, and overflowing with thankfulness, end of quote. So as we celebrate this Christmas, let us be thankful for the rejuvenation that the period represents. It is a period of restoration, symbolic of the coming of Christ to save mankind. The birth of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, brought forgiveness, healing, gratitude, and hope to the world. In like manner, we pray for healing and deliverance from COVID-19 pandemic. And we look to the future with hope and confidence. The ominous clouds of COVID-19 pandemic may be restricting visibility, but fellow Grenadians, Caraconians, Pity Martinicans all, just like a rainbow emerges almost magically, there is an undeniable sense of optimism as we look towards the future. The recent alarming spike in positive cases of COVID-19 has reinforced the need for us all to constantly follow the recommended protocols. They are scientifically proven methods for helping to curb the spread of COVID-19. Government's decision to reopen the borders was based on the need to find balance between protecting lives and saving livelihoods and we have repeatedly stressed the need for compliance with the recommended protocols. As we look ahead to 2021, 
the need for compliance is equally important as it is one of the critical factors that will determine the extent of the infections that may be transmitted among us. The pandemic can be likened to a disaster of immense proportions. Although it is unlike any other disaster we have witnessed, the officers of the National Disaster Management Agency partnered with the colleagues in the Ministry of Health, law enforcement, and other critical areas of disaster response and mitigation to mount a formidable attack against COVID-19. The battle is far from over, and we will continue the valiant effort to protect our country and our people. COVID-19 has presented challenges of its own, but it's also compounded the development challenges that small island developing states like Grenada face. Combating these challenges requires resilience, a key development watchword at the epicenter of all that we do in the pursuit of sustainable development. Understanding that building resilience is a development imperative, government recognises its overarching role in the future development of our country. As government ministers and duly elected parliamentary representatives, we have all had to perform important duties related to our respective assigned portfolios. But the predominant focus throughout this past year has been COVID-19. The widespread impact of the pandemic took a lot of our time and attention. Notwithstanding, we were able to record significant achievements, both at the ministry and constituency level. These achievements have all helped to move the national development agenda forward. We therefore thank you, our committed staff at the ministry and constituency level, for your commitment. To our loyal constituents, we really do appreciate your love and your support. In the 2021 budget, government detailed the extent of the economic impact of COVID-19. The fallout is unprecedented, but we are confident that the prospects of recovery are equally unmatched. Our resilience as a people is mirrored in the economic resilience demonstrated in recent years. Through prudent fiscal strategies and your generous sacrifices, we managed to overcome several developmental challenges and were well poised for economic takeoff. The setback created by the pandemic is temporary. And with the well-crafted capital extensive 2021 budget, government is confident that its COVID-19 recovery strategy will create the necessary activities that will stimulate growth in the local economy. 2021 will be a buzz with activity in both the public and private sectors. Through the successful rollout of government's infrastructure development projects, hundreds of jobs will be created with hundreds more becoming available when projects are completed and businesses become operational. At the same time, government will also significantly increase its capital assets, a factor that augurs well for future development. Investor confidence is at an all-time high. We see it in the number of approved projects that are set to roll out in the new year, many of which are in the tourism sector. The pandemic may have temporarily suppressed world travel, but the industry will rebound, and we have to be ready to capitalize on the increased activity that is somewhere on the horizon. That is why we need an upgraded and expanded international airport. We often speak about the marriage between agriculture and tourism. At this juncture, we have a unique opportunity to cement that linkage between the two sectors built upon government's clearly articulated vision for the agriculture industry to support economic growth, promote job creation, and provide much needed foreign exchange. An example of this is the emergence of the SARSAP industry, which is breathing new life into government's vision for the role of agriculture in the Grenada economy. Entrepreneurship will be a key factor 
in charting the path forward. Entrepreneurs are innovative, creative, they bring diversity, and they encourage healthy competition. Therein lies the basis for government's commitment to creating the environment that facilitates the growth and development of micro, small and medium-sized enterprises. The newly created Division of Consumer Affairs will come on stream in the new year as we seek to enhance the overall environment in which entrepreneurs and consumers are equally considered. Skills training and entrepreneurship are just two of the areas to which government seeks to empower young people, for they are the guardians to whom our country's future is entrusted. The youth of Grenada are clearly ready and willing to embrace that role and vision. Government, as an enabler, is committed to empowering them and bringing this vision to life. The well-being of people is a critical factor in the overall development agenda. As a caring and empathetic government, we place significant emphasis on the social needs of the population. Christmas comes only once a year, but government remains focused on its social programs throughout the year. And so today, as we celebrate the coming of Christ, let us similarly celebrate the resilience of the Grenadian people. We have endured through the night and our joy comet in the morning. Partnerships are a cornerstone of development. Whether at the community level or among countries which enjoy diplomatic relations. This Christmas, we recognize and say thank you to our friendly governments who have in one way or another partnered with us as we forge ahead with our development plans. A special thank you to the countries which helped to enhance our preparedness efforts for managing the ongoing pandemic. Despite its many downsides, there is at least one good thing about the pandemic. It has forced us to better utilize available technology in the execution of our daily functions. Government has also embarked on a process of digital transformation that will revolutionize the way we work. And as we look to the future, we envisage even greater reliance on technology as an enabler of development. The mode of operation for the Ministry of Sports, Culture and the Arts, Fisheries and Cooperatives has changed drastically during this challenging period of our lives due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Sports, culture and the arts continue to be ideal mediums through which we channel the energies of our talented young men and women. Government therefore remains committed to the development of sports, culture and the arts and to the provision of economic opportunities for our citizens in the areas of fisheries and cooperatives. In the year ahead, we will continue to carry out government's legislative agenda in line with national priorities and developmental goals. We will strengthen and continue to build on the massive improvements made in the administration of justice here in Grenada. The human resource pool will be enhanced and new strategies will be introduced to deal with the modern legal landscape. Our approach to development is holistic and inclusive and we are equally committed to the continued advancement of all the people of Karakou and Petit Martinique. We value you as important partners and stakeholders in the development process, and we will continue to engage you as we chat the way forward. Romans 5 verses 3 to 5 says, and I quote, Not only so, but we must also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us, unquote. 
I assure you, sisters and brothers, as we look ahead to 2021, government will continue to place a lot of emphasis on managing the pandemic. It is important to note, however, that government policies and directives are only as good as the level of compliance allows them to be. Therefore, we seek cooperation and support of all citizens and members of the business community in helping to safeguard our nation and our people. As we partake in the festivity of the Christmas season, let us focus more on the important things in life, the things that create lasting memories for us all. Let us cherish love, family, and a level of togetherness that COVID-19 protocols allow. May the joy of the season fill your hearts and spread abundantly through your homes. Going forward, May we unite as one, setting aside political and other, all other differences as we continue the task of nation building. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, fellow citizens of Grenada, Karaku and Petey Martinique. May God continue to bless us all. Happy holidays to you. Peace and love to all. Eat, drink, and be merry in your own house. Be safe. Be kind. Be your brother's keeper. Don't drop your guard. Compliance is key to keeping us safe. Frontline team, you are our heroes. May we all find the time to experience the joys and the reason for the season. May we all continue to have good health, peace and love. Sisters and brothers, as we enjoy this Christmas season, please be kind to each other and please be safe. Cheers to peace, love and happiness. A Merry Christmas to all. As 2021 approaches, we wish you continued health, strength and happiness. Let's continue to work hand in hand for the further development of our beautiful country. Mm -hmm.